Somehow, Liberty Football is currently 7-0, ranked, and they just knocked off a good Virginia Tech team by way of a last-second field goal. After Hugh Freeze got kicked out of Ole Miss for violations, he has completely rebuilt the Liberty Football program, and all of a sudden, could be the Cinderella team of the 2020 college football season. I know there are plenty of them so far. But today, I also want to talk about the quick buildup of Liberty Football, the season so far, and what could be in store for the Flames season. But first, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you like college football, give the video a like, drop a comment, and share it with your friends, and stay until the end so my channel does better and I can make more videos for you guys. Let me know what kind of topic I should do next, and let's get started and talk about Liberty Football. Yes, I know Antonio Gandy Golden is on the thumbnail, and he is not on the team right now, but that is the point. He helped lead the foundation for Liberty Football and helped them to where they are now. Former Auburn transfer quarterback Malik Willis has been sensational for the Flames this season to say the least, and he is not talked about enough. He wasn't the only SEC guy to get another chance, as Hugh Freeze was a former coach for Ole Miss and he got kicked out because of violations as we all know. He was previously known for coaching from a hospital bed, but now he should be known for the tremendous turnaround he's instilled at Liberty and shows that this man can still coach. Everyone remembers when Liberty somehow upset Baylor a few years ago, but everyone kind of forgot about him after that. If you go back a few years, Turner Gill helped take the program to the FBS level, and they were a really solid FCS team for quite a while. In 2019, Hugh Freeze became the head coach and had a star player in Antonio Gandy Golden at wideout, but they lost to everyone decent on their schedule. They did crank out enough wins to get to 7 and 5 though, and they were selected for the Mortgage Cure Bowl, where they would beat Georgia Southern to complete an 8 win season. They needed a new quarterback, and Auburn transfer Malik Willis was a complete unknown. But so far, he has thrown for 1,122 yards in 9 touchdowns, and also leads the team in rushing with 495 yards and 6 touchdowns. This kid's importance to the team cannot be overstated, and he is a young star. He is one of the best players in college football that no one is really talking about, and unless you followed Auburn or the SEC, you probably didn't even know who he was. Replacing Antonio Gandy Golden was going to be tough, but senior DJ Stubbs has stepped in and done a fantastic job for the Flames. He's got 27 passes for 375 yards and 3 touchdowns, which is not at the same level, but he could definitely be a guy to watch out for when undrafted free agent contracts are signed, and who knows what kind of season he's going to have the rest of the year. On defense, Javon Scruggs and Anthony Butler have been spectacular, and they have been the anchors of the unit, and I could not forget to mention them. Also, fun fact, Laquan Treadwell's brother is actually on the team, and if you don't know who that is, he was a star wide receiver for Ole Miss during the Freeze era, and it's cool to see another Treadwell playing for him. Let's talk about the actual season though. They barely beat Western Kentucky Week 1, and then narrowly survived by 2 against Florida International. So I don't think this team was on anyone's radar, and no one thought the Flames were anything special to say the least. They would kill North Alabama the following week, and then beat UL Monroe. So yeah, they were 4-0, but they hadn't played anyone, and no one was even considering them for anything. They would become legit and turn some heads though as they knocked off Syracuse by two scores, and people kind of wanted to see the Flames ranked. Syracuse has been terrible the last two years, this is still a massive win for the program. They would need one more win to get in the rankings though, and that would happen after they knocked off Southern Miss. They were ranked number 25 in the country, and this was the first time in school history. This was a huge moment for the program, and they had a chance to climb even higher with, with a game against Virginia Tech coming up. They ended up taking an early lead, but the game remained closed through the fourth. Hendon Hooker led Virginia Tech down the field, and completed a pass to Trey Turner to tie the game with less than a minute to go. But the Flames would go down the field a little bit and get in position to win with a field goal, but then complete disaster struck. The field goal was blocked and returned for a touchdown, and Virginia Tech was going to win the game. But, Justin Fuente called a timeout, and the play was scrapped. They hit a game-winning field goal the next play, and then the partying began for Liberty. This was one of the highlights of the day, and I just want to appreciate Liberty Football and say thank you for entertaining me this afternoon. They have four more games left on their schedule, and two of them are actually pretty intriguing and could be national broadcast games. They have a game with NC State, which could be close, and then a season finale against undefeated Coastal Carolina. I think they'll end up splitting those two games, but they could actually win both of them, and it could be an even more amazing season. Imagine if somehow Coastal Carolina and Liberty were still undefeated and both rank inside the top 10 when they played. That would be a reason for college game day to come, and that would be one of the craziest games we could all imagine, but we will have to wait and see if that happens. It's honestly so cool that Liberty is good at football, and I think this could lead to a bigger job for Hugh Freeze when it's all said and done. You guys probably don't pay attention to Liberty basketball, but they've also been really good over the last two years, and it's probably just a really good time to be a Liberty sports fan in general. But let me know what you guys think of the Flames. Are they legit? Give me your thoughts on them, and how do you think they'll do for the rest of the year? Let me know another team, program, or topic I should do next down in the comment section, and be sure to give the video a like, share it with your friends, comment your thoughts, subscribe if you like college football, and check out all my other videos. I hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace and go Flames.